7.30. Sun's just coming up over the rock pile. And there is ice on the water this morning. By heck, it's cold. The old garden's pretty desolate place. So we're going to have a little walk out today and take a look at what we've been doing lately. And what's going on out there. So a year ago, we were just starting trying to get this boathouse underway before freeze up. So we have got quite a bit done, I guess. The bridge is in. Lots more to do to finish, but at least we've got it back filled to the point where we can drive around comfortably now. Just keep moving on to the next phase, the next project. Now this soil out here is not noted for being stony or rocky, but during the digging, I found some real honkers. Beautiful stones will work well in the dry stone walling projects. So yeah, pretty happy with those. We've put this fence in here and you can see it's got a bit of a dog leg in it just to follow the contours of the pond. And because this is all fill, I didn't want to use a wooden post in here because it's loose dirt and the post would get pulled over by the wire. So uh, I've used a steel one here. It's about, I don't know, eight or ten feet in the ground. So it's not going to go anywhere. And uh, the wire can pull against that all it likes. We're just about the middle of November. No snow to speak of. This was my project yesterday. There's a, a tunnel going in here, a big culvert, seven feet diameter, 14 feet long, and then the dirt will be ramped up over it to make a nice natural looking crossing. So I drove these pilings in yesterday to help support the culvert so that it doesn't spread and turn into an oval with the weight of the dirt on it. So, uh, one project at a time, but we are getting them checked off. Dirt is freezing hard now. The middle of that pile will still be good. So uh, we can break the crust off the frost and get in there and get some loose dirt for filling in around the culvert. And uh, it's going to settle. We know it will, but hey, come the spring, the water will be able to run straight through here. No problem at all. Well, assuming there is water. And these are the pipes that will be welded together and buried to make that crossing. Everything we've got done here this summer would have taken me probably three years of winter only work trying to get this done and fighting the temperatures, the frost and the cold. So this really has been an absolute blessing to get this done. And this old excavator has done its service. My goodness, it has. Just finishing off this fencing here. We're only putting up three strands of wire, which is more than enough for the horses. Just got a little bit to finish at the end there where the gates are. Bad weather is coming in, snow is in the forecast. Tomorrow I'm heading up to the farm away up north, so that's a seven hour drive to get up there, up to our little piece of paradise, and bring back one of my other trucks that is parked there. And then it'll be hunker down for winter, and leave all this dirt moving, and get back at the cabin again. Make some progress there. We're well into feeding the horses already. And the hay is, uh, it's, it's pretty good this year. Considering there wasn't much, we've got square, giant square bales in there. And Silve is feeding the last of last year's rain bales, which is still in good shape. And Mr. Moe cleaning up like a vacuum cleaner as always. 
can't quite reach. Oh dear. An old midi, fat and full. Got the bottom lip hanging out. Ready to have a snooze. Now regular viewers will know what this means. Yep, it's the great coal run. 2021. Well, it's not snowing. It's a pretty nice day, actually. Usually, it is flipping cold when we do this. I think last year we did it in the spring. It was much better. But we're going to pick up two tons today and see what we can do later in the week. Should be a nice day, actually. Should be a nice run. Yeah. Got mother in here, ready to go. We got supplies in the back seat, just in case we run into trouble. Looking through that beautiful Alberta certified windshield cracks everywhere. If the DOT pulls us over and takes a look at this truck, they'll throw us in jail and throw away the key.